What's up? I'm Grizz. Welcome. Episode 32 of Death Note. We're chugging along, boys. We're almost there. Ah, I'm going at a slow pace, but I'd like to I'd like to pick it up if I could. Uh, hopefully in the next week or two, I'm able to start doing that. And we can get this wrapped up. Anyways, ended off a pretty decent episode last week with Taro being introduced and being our new holder of a death note here like giving up ownership of one here in order for Teru to kind of take over and Teru is a person who worships Kira uh, in a sort of way so I'm just curious exactly the extent that he's willing to go and what exactly we're going to use him for and set him up to do here uh, I think Light's using this more so to get more suspicion off of him but also still continuously get his stuff done and put him in a position of power Still, uh, I kind of screwed over Misa a little bit by forcing her to give up ownership there. But she probably still has plenty life left because she gained a lot when uh, when Rem ended up dying there. So I'm, I'm assuming she'll be okay. But anyways, excited to see what happens. If you like it, all the like and subscribe to me a lot to me. Feel free to stick around for the discussion. Leave any comments about this episode or series. Let's go on episode 32. What is this music, dude? <laughs> ミカ見てるは平均的な日本人の大人たちから見て良いこと悪いことを判断できる。そうですね、私は。ダウン。What Sees them bullying the kid, so he just fucking kills him. この世界には悪と正義しかない。幼い頃から周囲を観察していた私が最初に掴んだし。Just straight black and white, no, no in between, nothing. すべてこの二種類に分類。やめてよね、やめてくれ。おい、おい。悪には立ち向かわなければならない。時には正義が負けているようにも見えただろう。私は何度でも助けたいと思った。ダウン。そのためにはそのために。ダウン。そう、あんなから Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. His kids are fucking weird, bro. Damn. Yeah, they're humiliating you and everything. Mm -hmm. So way to justify it to yourself for sure, yeah. But she did it. Right. There's no reason for you to be bullied. Well, I guess he's putting himself out there in a way that forces him to get bullied. Dog. Oh, fuck. She died. Wow. Excellence. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was his mom. <laughs> and he was like, justice was fucking served, boys. <laughs> Even if we gotta go as far as fucking death and murder, evil must be deleted. But then you're becoming evil at that point. Interesting. That's like the evilest thing you can fucking do. Like that. It's it's it's. Beyond me, how people like this this operate. 
they think they're doing good things by getting rid of people who who bully and do all these negative things. But it's like, dude, you're if you're murdering at the end of the day here, you're becoming them. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? That was the whole argument with what Light was doing at the beginning, creating his world. Like, you look at it like it was a good thing, but he was still killing. Like, there's a there's a level to these things. Must be punished by the heavens, yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't look at it like, oh, he's doing a good thing, you know? See, a prosecutor is different. It's very different. So he was about to head down a right route, and then Buddy appeared. Great. And he's deluded. Got it. Right. He reached out. He noticed me. He sent me. Uh, he'll surely accept me if I follow in his path. But he shared and trusted. A ray of fucking coincidences led you to this. What he would want to do? Delete others, yes. You're just as twisted as him. Congratulations. I think you're doing good when you're not. Alright, we move. That was an interesting opening to this. Oh. Oh, he didn't want to be involved in the conversation. Mm -hmm. I can prove that I'm useful. Okay, he gets it though. He gets it. Not you though. There? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Okay, it's not her then. She's just on the news. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. He's like, what the fuck? Bro, you're such a creep. It looks bad because he has a connection to her. Mm -hmm. Be put into question here. Okay. I'm interested how that's going to work because I feel like it's not going to work well. Damn. Bro, res are up. Got that cure, Riz. It's crazy how, how they were able to connect like that. Each having a relation to him, but not understanding that. So they're going to take it the route that it looks too sus to choose somebody else that he's closely affiliated with at a point. だから気を身を使えないかと思っています。実は彼女とは大学時代にかなり親しくしていた仲なんです。へえ。自分から。だから嫌いの糸口を掴んでいくのが今できる最良の手段だと思います。でも、そうすると、それは大丈夫です。
会ってもらえないかな。頼みたいことがあって。Hate the way he sounds right now. あ、今世界が注目している女性に僕なんかが会ってくれと言っても無理かもしれないけど。But、actually, I'm working for the police right now. 話したくても話すきっかけがなかった。でもこうしてお互い社会人として仕事を通じてでもきっかけができたのならそこに運命を感じずにはいられない。I'm so uncomfortable with the way he's speaking. Like, this voice actor is doing a great job. I feel like she's not going to live to see more than like an episode. I really do. I am, that's okay though. No one is、so、happy. When did they rig I t a k a t a s t r e This shit got me so uncomfortable, bro. I hate him. He's a shibri to you, can't you? I'm not thinking about you. You're so long every day. It's him. It's him. It's him. It's him. It's him. She should also be sus knowing he's part of the police that this is probably set up in some sort of way where people are listening, right? Like, that seems logical for me to think of that. I need to talk to your friend. Yep. Damn, he's good at his job. He is good at his job. Yeah. So then I dropped all the hints I could. Yes. Oh no. You gotta prove who you are. End them. End them. Why are we just killing everybody part of our cult? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. There's literally risen up girls with his ability to kill and be Kiro. Disgusting. <laughs> but you don't mean any of that. Ah,、oh, but that thing's not great, actually. <laughs> Buddy snapping, Ryuk's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Was our selection. I'll be honest, didn't really like that.、Uh, I had a lot of fun with it, but the since the beginning of the show, I've struggled with the. The way that they try and portray and justify the doing 
evil acts such as is harming and killing others and stuff as okay based on the things that they've done the negative things that they've done before it just doesn't sit right with me i don't think punishing people for things like that just just for like certain crimes that they do is is the right path to go by punishing by death at least is what i'm saying like i understand if you're like a mass killer in sorts of ways but like they're punishing people who don't do shit like that that's that bad and and to be able to have somebody like Teru who just gets introduced here and he's literally so like black and white in a way where he only sees people on one side as being evil and one side as being good and there's no people who can be good people maybe who have like evil intentions or, or evil people who have good intentions sometimes too with like a mixture of both or people who can fall either way he just thinks everybody's capable of like one thing in a way and they they're gonna gravitate towards that regardless or they they take up a nature and that's exactly what they are and he has to take it upon himself to be the justice to kind of stop that i mean he did an appropriate way of starting when he was younger of like just getting a support group in a way people who like want to put a stop to like the the bullying and violence and stuff that was kind of happening within the school and stuff but then it creates more and more issues as time kind of goes along because kids especially those ages in school aren't gonna really want to put up with it or hear it or deal with any of that shit so they're just like i don't i don't want to hear it right and then they start beating you up as a result so he continuously got beaten down to a point that it wore him down more and more and he's like over time there started to be less of like a gray in between area here and he literally started seeing people more on each side of the fence and just deciding which person was good which person was bad and realizing that there was only one real appropriate cause of action to it he he seemed like he went his entire life until the kira thing where he had like good intentions for the stuff that he was doing or he was trying to go about things in the right way but the way he was explaining it led me to believe otherwise especially the the whole scene with his mom of thinking like that she deserved to like be dead and stuff like that like i was like what the fuck is happening here it's it's weird He he's good for the job and for being involved here in the show in the situation because of how psychotic i guess in a way he is and how he he strictly is obeying in a way the way that he sees things and his values and everything line up perfectly with light so it works well but it's just like you can look at him that way but we already have light who's like this so i don't need another character that's like that and he's not as complex of a person because if he sees everything one way it's like not that interested in, in him anymore I, I really thought i was like oh he's gonna be cool i'm really excited to learn about him not so much anymore uh is what it is but i do really appreciate and enjoy the first like half of this episode being focus on him and background on him and his his values and exactly where he was brought up from and what happened that kind of sprung the stuff upon him I, I thought that was really really cool way for them to kind of approach it and the second half takes a complete turn as well though where light starts to realize like but he's kind of doing things on his own right now because i'm not instructing him and and he's killing off our spokesperson how else are we going to spread the good word of what the things that we're doing right the negative things that you're doing so he's like ah he's probably going to hire a new one which he ends up doing which coincidentally happens to be somebody that we've known since early on in this series but that can work very well to light's advantage as he has contact with her and he's able to to get in contact with her and basically expose who his true self is as she's kind of a follower in a way too and really use her to kind of elevate him and, and progress him towards the next step that he's planning on and i say use her specifically as use her because as he makes claims to her uh how exactly he plans to have her involved in his life and you know be useful and she's going to help me and all this stuff yeah you're just going to use her to your fullest extent and you have no true feelings behind any of the things that you're kind of saying and it's pretty fucked up lives the life of trampling upon others and, and using others to propel him into like what he needs in the future and create this world that he kind of wants and it's it's really gross so i guess if you're trying to get that reaction out of a character you're doing a good job of getting it you know from me but it is what it is everything just worked out rather convenient throughout the episode and i really don't think there's like anything too underlying or intense for us to really touch on it just kind of built up a few characters and gave you some background and understanding of them and then uh pushed you in that next direction of where we're going to head next now that we kind of have a team of three basically built up here and things are going to kind of go good for them i guess for the foreseeable future the other thing was specifically mellow having like a wiretap in the room uh with misa and Misa not being able to know anything because she doesn't have the memories anymore but i don't remember if they showed us that like when that actually happened so i don't even understand when that began but I guess it doesn't really matter how exactly that began because why would it? She literally knows nothing, so it's not going to be <laughs> of use regardless. But honestly, that's really all I want to talk about on this one. It's going to be very short here, but 
is what it is. I don't really think anything like over eventful happened here uh, that I really need to speak on. So I'm going to kind of leave it at that. If you liked it all, hit the like and subscribe to me, not to me. Feel free to check out the other videos on the channel. Leave any comments about this episode or this series. I'll be back for episode 33 next week. You guys have a good one. See you.